President Trump's final move. He is expected to pardon as many as 100 people, including his former political aide, Steve Bannon, and personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Rick Ritter. Now, President Trump also said to have discussed pardoning himself. Former Baltimore Mayor Catherine Pugh wants Mr. Trump to commute her sentence. And former City Police Commissioner Ed Norris wants a pardon. All right, let's go live to WJZ investigator Mike Helgren at City Hall for us tonight with more on their requests to the president. Mike. Rick, Denise, they are still pending. President Trump has been inundated with requests to clear people's records or uh, get them out of prison. Do you have anything to say to the citizens of Baltimore, Mayor Pugh? Anything to say, Mayor Pugh? Disgraced Mayor former Baltimore comment. Mayor Catherine Pugh wants out of the Alabama prison where she's been behind bars since June. And she asked President Donald Trump to commute her sentence and send her home to the mixed reaction of her former constituents. Well, why not give it a shot? I mean, the worst he can say is no. I got to never her. You know? She, she already looked like she had no remorse anyway. Pugh surely hopes the respect she showed to Mr. Trump four years ago when she greeted him at the Army-Navy game will come back to help her. And he walked over to me and I said, I am the mayor of Baltimore. He said, I know. And I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, He did. And then Giuliani walked by. He says, hey, mayor. I said, hey, mayor, I need you to make sure he understands how important this is. Mayor Pugh, any comment? Pugh, who's 70, is serving a three-year sentence. She used money from her sloppily edited, self-published Healthy Holly Children's Book series to get rich, illegally funneling money into her political campaign. Like the old saying is, you do the crime, you gotta do the time. The pardons are a very positive thing for a president. But the ex-mayor is not the only one who wants clemency from Mr. Trump. Ed Norris, the former head of city and state police, is asking for a pardon of his 2004 federal corruption conviction that he long believed was motivated by politics. And the former leader of the Gun Trace Task Force, the corrupt Baltimore police squad whose members set people up and robbed them, disgraced former Sergeant Thomas Allers, also wants President Trump to let him out of his 15-year sentence early. And back in 2016, Pew presented President Trump with a Baltimore pin. She said she always wants him to keep the city top of mind. Reporting live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ.